Hi there guys, welcome to this recap. So I'm still using my Conquest binder whilst I wait for the Mortal Realms ones to come out. So what I wanted to do today was, whilst we're in a bit of a lull where things are slowing down because of the, the lockdown, so just to remind you, we are currently running at one issue every two weeks in the retail shops. Um, I do also have a subscription, but unfortunately that's running behind this. The reason I've got a subscription as well is because I want to catch up with all the premium content when it becomes available. Um, so I thought whilst we've got a bit of a lull, let's have a look through all of our issues to date in terms of the paperwork and then just have a sort of a mini roundup from issues one to 14. So in the order that they came out, the first one we received our three sequitors with our 10 Chain Rasps. Issue two was the Mind Mourn Banshees. Issue three, we had our Castigators and one Griff Hound. Issue four was the Glaive Wraith Stalkers. Issue five was Zandria Azurebolt. Then six, we had the Thorns of the Briar Queen. Issue seven was our first paint issue. Issue 8, we had the Celestar Ballistas. Issue 9, we had more Sequitors and two more Castigators. Number 10 was our Tomb Banshee. Number 11 was our first part of the Sigmarite Mausoleum, which is due to be completed next week with issue 15. Issue 12 was our Night Questor. Issue 13 was more paint. And this week's issue number 14, the Dreadblade Harrows. So what I've done is, oh, there's a notification from Hachette from a few weeks ago saying they were going down to fortnightly issues at retail. Now, so what I've done is I've sorted the content in the way that I think it should go. So we're starting with realms. So we learn about the, the magic in the mortal realms in general. Then we've got, we start with Azir, then move to Shaish with some information on war in the underworld. Then we've got Shadespire, which we've been, which some of our stories have gone through the last few weeks. Then we've got the Age of Sigmar. And then we've got some information on the Soul Wars. So sorry, some of that. In the Realm section was History Part 1 and 2, Age of Sigmar and the Soul Wars. Then we've got the Necroquake. Some of this could probably do with some better sorting. Um, so for example, when we get to these sections, it's got K History 1, 2 and 3 and you put it into different you sort it into how it comes up in here but obviously i believe that the necroquake came long before the soul wars so yeah maybe a, a maybe a misprint there maybe i should have it in a slightly different order then we've got wars of the dead history number six is age of chaos and number seven is a fold out the cosmos arcane that goes through the age of myth now, then we've got, moving on to our battle section, we've got the Fury of the Reforged, which takes us through the reforging process for the Stormcast Eternals. Then we've got Besieged. Battles 3 is Valley of Bones. Battles 4 is Wake Not the Dead. Then we've got Battle of Bone and Ash. Number six is Into the Labyrinth. Number seven is Blizzard of Blight. And then we've got this week's issue, which is Curse of the Hunter, which talks about our Dreadblade Harrows. Okay, then we move into the Order section. And just a brief description of the Forces of Order. Then the Forces of Death. Now that section is slightly more fleshed out to date. 
So we learn about Nagash, the wrath of Nagash, and the legions of Nagash. And then we move on to the forces of chaos, which we got the first page today. Learning about Archaon initially. Okay, then we've got the Stormcast Eternal section. So obviously we start with a general overview of them. <coughs> then it goes into the reforging. We start to learn a little bit about what makes, um, makes up the details of the different chambers and that kind of thing. Then we've got forging of a Stormcast Eternal. This week's stuff, A Thousand Storms, and A Thousand Storms Part 2, so Part 2 was this week's. Then we learn about the chambers, starting with the Sacrosanct Chambers. We haven't added anything else yet. And then we start to look at some of the more individual parts of the Stormcast Eternal. So we start with the Knights in Cantor, of which Xandria Azurebolt is one. Then our Night Questors, then the Celestar Ballistas, our Castigators, and our Sequitors. Then we start to learn about the Storm Hosts, and it takes us through a lot of different uh, paint guides and that kind of thing for our Storm Hosts. Chambers and Conclaves. And then we start to move into Storm Keeps, and this is a uh, in which case we learn about Lord or Lord Ordinators and a few other things there. Then we learn about the Hammers of Sib Hammers of Sigma, which is Hammers Part One. Hammers of Sigma, learning about Azure Azure Bolt, sorry Zandria Azure Bolt, Steelheart Champions, which are the models that you get from the. Um, from the Shade Spire core box then we've got Hallowed Knights and then that's as far as we are with Stormcast today and then we move on to the Night Haunts so a general overview there then we start to learn about the processions then we start to move into some more kind of story stuff so we start with the Chronicles of Terror Parts 1 and 2. The Rise of the Wraiths, Part 1 and 2. We've only got Part 1 so far. Then we start to look at some of the champions. So the Dreadblade Harrows are there. The Banshees. The Briar Queen and her Thorns. Then we've got some more Warrior stuff. The Glaive Wraith Stalkers and Chain Rasps. Then our Mimorn Banshees. Then goes through the how to build sequitors and chain rasps. If there's one minor gripe that I've got with how this all gets sorted into this folder, is that with issue one, for some unknown reason, they included part of the paint guide, which wasn't even necessary yet. On the back of the build guide, which means it can't be separated and put into the painting section, which annoyed me. So we've got all of our paint guides there. Sorry, our build guides there. And then we move on to our paint guides. And it took us right through from basing to adding washes to doing dry brushes to doing terrain. And then finally, we got into our playthrough. So the eve of the battle, which was with issue number one. Terror amidst the tombs, which was issue number two. Then we've got the fighting escalates reinforcements, which was the introduction of the castigators on issue three. And then we had from Krypton Barrow, something wicked stirs. Which was issue four, and then we move on to issue five, which was the Knights in Cantor Lights the Way, the introduction of Zandria Azurebolt. Issue six, Arcane Jewel, 
which was a bundle between Zandria Ejabol and the Briar Queen. So two heroes, and which are which are also uh, wizards. So to going through the hero phase. Then issue number sevens was Scouring the Tombs, which brought us back to our small map, which we've been going back and forth with for, for a little while now. And um, then issue eight, Unleash the Artillery, which was our Celestial Blisters up against the Glaive Wraith Stalkers. Then issue nine, which had our Sequitors up against the Chain Rasp Hordes. Issue 10, Chill Blades and Hearts of Ice. We saw our Tomb Banshee and Mimorn Banshees up against our Sequitors. And then we started to learn about alternative weapons within our group. So we learned about the Great Mace, <coughs> which is carried by one of our Sequitors. Issue 11, between Tomb and Terror, which was our fight between the Chain Rasps and Castigators on our bigger map. Issue 12 is Clash of Heroes, which was a big Barney between Xandria, Azure Bolt and the Knight's Questor against the Briar Queen and our Tomb Banshee. And issue 13 was Geists at the Gate, which saw the fight between the Knight Questor and Castigators against the Thorns and the Briar Queen. Thorns of the Bride Queen and the Bride Queen herself. And then issue 14, for which I'm recording the playthrough next week, the Ghost Riders, which is our two Dreadblade Harrows up against one Griffhound and five Castigators. <clears throat> and I don't know why, but I like to keep these back pages. It's irrational, but I keep them anyway. So that's it guys, that is our content so far, issues 1 to 14. Um, I'm overall very happy with it at the moment. I think that hopefully they will learn from some mistakes from, uh, from Conquest in terms of how this information is laid out. So anyone who had Conquest when it comes to filing and that kind of thing, a lot of it's quite confusing, there's a few unfinished stories and that kind of thing um but i'm very very pleased with how things are going at the moment and yeah i hope you enjoyed this little catch up i'll probably do another one when we get to issue let's say issue 20 i'll do a further update but yeah thanks very much for watching and i'll see you soon